What's up, everybody? Destin Laguerre here with Vince. Hey! We are still here at PAX South, still bringing you coverage. Today, we are talking we are about that game back there. We're twins. Today, we are twins. But we're also talking about the spaceship game, not the one that's up there. Right. It's called Dreadnought. Dreadnought. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Um, it's super sick. Uh -huh. uh, I got to play a few matches of it yesterday. Um, the thing that really blows my mind about Dreadnought is that you take one look at it. First of all, it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's it just looks beautiful. Really cool. Like these ships were made with love. Clearly, like spaceship nerds, uh -huh. you know, who are just totally into space sims, yeah. made these. But it doesn't play like a space sim, and that's what I found surprising. Like you take a look at it, and you're like, okay, how many like throttle controls and sticks and all those things am I gonna have to buy mm -hmm. in order to be good? at this game and then how many like manuals am i gonna have to read about how to pilot one of these things yeah nothing it's you pretty know, it's pretty easy it's to so easy to get into was the controls uh -huh. and you're you're flying around like a pro in like five minutes cool. and it's all so even though it looks and feels very true to kind of the romantic notion of what a space sim would be yeah. where you're, you know these massive battles between these like hulking capital ships yeah um it feels that there's still that weightiness there and the way the ships are modeled is cool because even though you're kind of flying by wire, it's just like you're saying I want to go up, so it goes up. Yeah. Or you're saying I want to go left, so it goes left. That's not really how piloting a ship obviously <laughs> works, but they make it work um, logically because all the ships are modeled like so detailed to show thrusters like, that are directional. Yeah. So it's like it's still believable. Like it doesn't feel like they're cheating. It doesn't feel like a, a watered down version of a space game. Like even yeah. though it's simple to control, it still feels weighty and like believable. So kind of the fantasy about controlling these spaceships is uh, feeling powerful, right? Yeah, yeah. How, do, how do they achieve that? Oh, so every single gun in this game, especially if you take the uh, the Dreadnought class, yeah. is just booming. Like every shot that comes out of it is just like, dunk, 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 dunk. it's like thunder, just a, a thunderclap just uh -huh. coming down right in front of you. Um, and they've got a lot of really powerful special attacks that you can use. Like the Dreadnought class has this vulture missile volley. Mm -hmm. And basically it's just this fire and forget, oh, there's a frigate somewhere near me. Like it just lights up. It's like your two ability on your two key. Yeah. You just press two and all these little uh, missile tubes open up. You see all of them like, open up on the top of uh, your ship. And then it just launches like 40 missiles that just, <laughs> it's fire and forget. They're just heat seeking and Basically, any smaller craft that you target that with is just going to die. Yeah. So um, they really, of course, the trade-off is that the Dreadnought is very slow and very ungainly. And if it gets caught out, um, it, it can take a lot of punishment. But if it gets caught out in a bad situation, it, it can be tough for it to get away. Although, again, to the point about how they make it feel powerful, cool abilities, the Dreadnought has a limited use uh, warp drive. So you can spin that up. It takes like five or ten seconds for it to spin up and then you'll just kind of instantly move like a pretty long distance across the map. Yeah, like um, towards an, an opponent. Yeah, towards yeah. A, yeah, towards an opponent or away from one. You can go away from one too. So, um, yeah, uh, the abilities are just sick. So that's how yeah. they that's how they do that. Talking about that, it's not all about power. There's a lot of strategy involved, right? Yes, absolutely there yeah. is. So, um, again, to the point of them making it uh, accessible but believable, so a lot of your guns can be fired in full 360, which, of course, you can imagine on a real battleship, that isn't necessarily the case, but the way they do it, again, logically, is they have every, most of the primary weapons are kind of in these batteries of, of turrets. So it makes sense. Yeah. There are still weapons, though, that can only fire in certain directions. So you have to be smart about your positioning. So the artillery class ship, for instance, which is basically like the sniper archetype, yeah. uh, has a really long range focused beam. Okay. But that only fires out of the front. So if you want to target something with that primary weapon, you need to be Face properly it. lined up. Yeah. yeah. But uh, and then like the dreadnought, for instance, has a special ability uh, where it can use its side batteries that are really powerful. But it has to be flanking something. Like you can't face something to fight with that. You have to be kind of have it on your side. But where the strategy really comes in is with all the different classes of ships. Like even though the show, the show, even though the game is called dreadnought, it's not all about massive ships with huge firepower. There's support classes too that can heal. Uh, that can buff other, uh, you know, buff your uh, your teammates. One of them is really cool because uh, I love this as a support character. I play support characters in, in MOBAs yeah. and, and, and whatnot. And the problem is sometimes you can't get to the people you want to support in time. Mm -hmm. 
the support, uh, one of the support ships I played in Dreadnought actually has an ability where you can instantaneously, any any ally you can see, yeah. you can instantly warp to. Oh. So no matter, what, no, no matter what, you can be anywhere on the map you need to be in order to give them the support they need and heal so them up. So you can fall back and then hop to them when they need help. Yeah, That's so you can cool. be really smart about the use of that. And, uh, and even just using the maps and terrain properly, like sometimes the best defense is not being seen. Mm -hmm. And there's I had a lot of like great, like, kind of start, you know, like, I don't want to say Star Wars or Battlestar Galactica moments where I was using kind of the terrain or, or the uh, the or, or like floating debris to hide my my presence, mm. and then I would just come up out of the debris behind like two ships yeah. and just destroy them before they even had a chance oh, cool. to, to come around and bring their guns on me. Yeah. So moments like that, you feel like you're really rewarded for good positioning and smart tactics. Cool. Well, it sounds like you really enjoyed oh, it. Oh, yeah. I'm having a blast. I had a blast with it. I can't wait to go back and play more. Cool. Well, for more on Dreadnought, you know where to keep it locked. IGN.